Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you three super easy text effects. Let's jump right in. The first one is the text fade effect. To do this, first head over to the effects panel. Under the effects section, find fusion composition and drag it onto your timeline. Now let's switch to the fusion page. Inside fusion, select a text node and place it in the node graph. Then connect the text node directly to the media out node. Go to the inspector panel, type in the text you want, then choose your desired font and increase the font size as needed. With the text node selected, click on the rectangle icon to add a mask. Then drag the rectangle so that the entire text is covered within it. Now slightly move the mask. In the inspector panel, find the soft edge parameter and increase it to around 0.1 for a smooth fade. Next, move the mask completely to the left so that none of the text is visible. At this position, add a keyframe for the center X parameter. Then, move the playhead forward a few frames and adjust the mask's X position to slowly reveal the text. As the playhead moves, you'll start to see the text getting uncovered bit by bit. If needed, you can drag the playhead all the way toward the right and shift the mask along with it. This makes the text slowly disappear, almost like it's being gently wiped away. And that's it. The second one is the mirror reveal effect. So with my clip selected in the timeline, let's head over to the Fusion page. First, drag a text node into the Fusion workspace and connect it to the media in node. This will automatically create a merge node. With the text node selected, go to the inspector panel, type in the text you want, then choose your desired font and increase the font size as needed. Next, I'll adjust the position of the main text to make space for the mirrored reflection below. Next, I'll duplicate the text node. When I connect the original text node to the duplicate, Fusion automatically creates a merge node to combine them. I'll quickly rearrange the nodes to keep the node tree organized and easy to work with. Next, I'll drag in a transform node and connect it to the text one node. With the transform node selected, I'll go to the inspector panel and enable the flip horizontal option. Then with the text one node selected, I'll click on the rectangle icon to add a mask. I'll slightly move the mask upward using the Y parameter. Now increase the soft edge value to give it that smooth, mirror-like reflection. Now, if you want to animate the mirror effect, start by dragging the mask upward to hide the mirrored text. In the inspector panel, set a keyframe on the mask's Y position. Then, move the playhead forward in the timeline and drag the mask downward to reveal the mirrored text gradually. Now let's hit play to check out the effect. And that's it. And finally, the eye-catching neon glow text effect. I'm in my Fusion page with the image loaded. First, I'll click on the text node to add it. Then, with the text node selected, I'll head over to the inspector panel and type the text I want. Next, I'll increase the size of the text and change the font to something that fits the style I'm going for. Next, I'm going to change the color of the text to something that gives it a glowing effect. And for that, I'll pick this fluorescent green. Next, I'll copy this text effect and create two duplicates of it. This way, I can layer them or offset them. Then, I'll create a merge node to combine the text node with the media in. Now, I'll change the color of the first text layer to black. Next, I'll select the first duplicate text node, then open the Select tool by pressing Ctrl and Space, and search for Box Blur, and add it to the text. Now, I'm going to view the first duplicate text in Viewer 1. Then, over in the Inspector panel, I'll increase the strength of the Box Blur. As you increase the strength of the box blur, the glow effect spreads more. Now I'll select the second duplicate text node and use the search tool to add a soft glow node. Then I'll open the search tool again and add a regular glow node to enhance the overall effect. Now with the soft glow selected and viewed in viewer 1, I'll decrease the gain value to around 0.9, then increase the glow size all the way to 100. After that I'll slightly reduce the blend value to soften the effect just a bit. Next, I'll select the Glow node, and in the Inspector panel, I'll change the Apply mode to Threshold. Then I'll slightly reduce the High value to control how much of the glow is applied to the brighter areas. Now I'll connect these nodes together by adding a Merge node. After that, I'll connect the Merge 1 and Merge 2 nodes together, so all the effects are combined into a single visual layer. Now I'll slightly adjust the Gain value and the Threshold value to reduce the intensity of the glow effect. If needed, you can create a keyframe for the blend value, then go one frame forward and reduce it to zero. 
After that, go one more frame forward and bring it back to one. This will create a simple flickering effect. If you found this helpful, give it a like, subscribe for more, and don't forget to tap the bell.